think I've read those four already. Oh god, I'm gonna have to read the Samarillion, aren't I? Oh, do I have to? I don't read something I've already read. No. Ah, oh, but it's Tolkien reading day. I've got to read something. Okay. Let's check it out. Hey, holiday fans. Today is Read Tolkien Day. And I've read The Hobbit before. I read The Hobbit many years ago. I read Lord of the Rings just before each movie came out. I re managed to finish each one just before the relevant movie came out. And I once tried to start reading this, The Samarillion. The only way I can describe it in the way it is written is it is like the Bible of the Middle Earth. Both in the fact that it's telling mythological stories set in that world, um, sort of in the same, same sort of way, but also in much of the inaccessible language it uses, it's very similar as well. And um, pretty sure Tolkien isn't out of copyright, so I can't start reading you from it, but it's tough to read this one. But in the spirit of Read Tolkien Day, rather than read something I've already read, like The Hobbit and The uh, Lord of the Rings, I thought I would give this a little bit of a second try. As you can see, i got a bookmark in it from where I got up to last time. Um, which was The Heady Heights of Chapter 2. <laughs> so I didn't get further than Chapter 1. Uh, chapter 2 is of Ol and Yavanna. So I'm going to read Chapter 2. I don't promise to go any further than Chapter 2, but I'm going to read Chapter 2 for Tolkien Day. I would recommend not starting with the Samarillion if you've never read any Tolkien before. Use this Tolkien Day to check out a nice easy one. I'd start with The Hobbit if I was you. Um, but if you want to get a bit more in-depth, maybe check out The Lord of the Rings. Though that's a bit more of a commitment. They're thicker books and there's three of them to get the whole story. So um, maybe start with The Hobbit if you've never read anything. It's obviously aimed at a slightly younger audience than Lord of the Rings, but it's still an enjoyable tale. Um, and a tale that can easily fit in one book and not three films. It's Mr. Jackson. Right, okay. That's it, really. I'm going to go off and read this. You don't need to see me doing that. So happy uh, Read Tolkien Day, and I will see you for another festivity day tomorrow. Please do like, subscribe, and all that sort of stuff. And I will, uh, yeah, you know, if you feel like it. Um, and I will see you again for another holiday tomorrow. Bye. Bye.